emotions, you know, those human emotions that we all have, to me, they're very important to, to feel and to go through. But we have to allow ourselves to feel not just maybe the sadness or the hurt or the pain of that emotion, but we have to allow ourselves to feel the love of that emotion. And I know that sometimes can be very hard. And I think that is why, that is something that God and the angels have taught me all my life. And that is why I would say to you, I love everyone. I can't, the word hate or not liking someone, I don't understand. And again, I just feel we run away from our emotions when, in a sense, we should allow ourselves to feel it and allow that emotion to come out. You know, sometimes when I say to you, share what is bothering you, share, you know, that hurt and pain, that, that trauma, share, because they're all emotions, you know, even the emotion of you loving someone and, you know, they're leaving you. Because in discovering, it helps us to, what would I say, connect spiritually to our soul. It helps us to get to know ourselves. And to me, emotions helps us, you know, grow. But we have to look on our emotions not as a negative thing, you know, as something that is positive. I have this huge emotion because someone said something to me that really hurt me and it's tearing me apart. But if you keep that emotion inside of you, it will keep tearing you apart because you're not allowing any love into that emotion. You're not allowing yourself to express it. So sometimes I would say, again, share it with someone or write it down or even stand in front of the mirror and talk to yourself about it. It's kind of like you, at times we have to unsip ourselves and let our human emotion to come out so that we can allow the love that is entangled with that emotion to come forward. And that is the, the spiritual part of ourselves, that, that's our soul. That is letting go the hurt and pain and forgiving, you know, that forgiveness of of someone or something. Like we can even have such an emotional upset over something we, we create because we feel that our creation didn't turn out the way we wanted it ourselves. And sometimes we kind of then look at our creation in a negative way and it makes us feel negative within ourselves, but makes us feel, you know, I'm not good at anything. I'm not good at this. But you have to stop yourself and say, that's okay. I can see what I'm doing. I can see I'm allowing this emotion to turn my creation into a negative thought, into a negative feeling within me. And I want to change that you have to, in a sense, say to yourself, I've got to allow love in. I've got to allow the spiritual side of myself come forward. And I've got to see the creation and the beauty in, in what I have created. And I know that's something we all can do, but it's something, in a sense, I always give out to God and say, you know, why do we have to keep practicing things? Why do we have to keep on reminding ourselves but I think that's because we have separated our human selves from our spiritual self, from our soul so much. And we just need to bring it back again 
to allow our emotions, you know, to be, to start to turn into positive, to see the positiveness within them as well, and to embrace them and to let them go and to come out the other side. I would have to say feeling good of yourself. So that's just a little on emotions. Thank you. Mm -hmm.